Are large corporations' use of fossil fuels one of the primary causes of climate change that we're seeing today? Uh, yes, is the simple answer. Same here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how long has there been roughly a scientific consensus surrounding those two facts? I would say uh, roughly 20 years, and that consensus is of actively working scientists who publish in peer-reviewed journals. Uh, thank you. And we have documents going back decades showing mm -hmm. specifically that Exxon Mobil or Exxon knew mm -hmm. about climate change. In 1977, Exxon scientist James Black mm -hmm. told Exxon's top executives that, quote, the most likely manner in which mankind is influencing the global climate is through carbon dioxide release from the burning of fossil fuels. This was in 1970. Seven. This was followed by an internal memo in 1979, which stated that, quote, the present trend of fossil fuel consumption will cause dramatic environmental effects before the year 2050. Dr. Uh, Garvey, would you say uh, that the folks you worked with at Exxon agreed with the consensus on climate change? Oh, hardly. Dr. Hoffert? I can testify to after 1981 because I was working at Exxon with a, with a group that was doing the calculations and, of course, uh, we did know that. Understood. Uh, Dr. Hoffer, your work with Exxon was focused on the carbon cycle and climate modeling. I have yes. a slide up here. Are you familiar with this graph from 1982? So this was a model from 1982 with that, right. startlingly accurate projections into the present That's day. correct. The orange line shows the actual level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere through this year. Mm -hmm. And the blue line shows the actual average temperature change. So in 1982, Exxon accurately, 1982, seven years before I was even born, Exxon accurately predicted that by this year, 2019, the Earth would hit a carbon dioxide concentration of 415 parts per million and a temperature increase of one degree Celsius. Dr. Hoffert, is that correct? We were excellent scientists. <laughs> yes, you were. Yes, you were. So they knew. Mm -hmm. They knew, and I, I presume they knew what some of the consequences of that one degree Celsius change would be. Some of them, not all. Absolutely. I would like to have an opportunity to discuss that if someone asks me. Uh, Dr. Hoffert, you have mm -hmm. previously said that mm -hmm. Exxon's historic denial was immoral and greatly set back efforts to address climate change. That's correct. Yes? I, it is correct that I said that. I have good reason to say it. They knew that they were going to dump Un unknown at that time amounts of money, but a large investment in a climate denial and doubt campaign in, in the United States and around the world, correct? Uh, that's and my, that's my, to the best of my knowledge, that's true. They said, but victory, I didn't know of that personally. They said victory would be achieved when, quote, average citizens, quote unquote, understand uncertainties in climate science. Dr. Garvey, would you say these goals accurately represent the mission of Exxon in the past and today? Not in the past, certainly not when I was there. Would you say that currently the, the current uh, environment that is fostered around doubt on scientific mm -hmm. consensus could be a result of lobbying from the fossil fuel industry? I would say so, but I should let my cohort, you should answer that. Sure. Dr. Reskis? Uh, 350 pages on that in my book, Merchants of Doubt. Thank you very much.